Okay, in this very, very long overdue video, I finally compiled all the testing clips of the electrolyzer from summer of 2024. And you can see I start by figuring out exactly how much water is needed so that when the top assembly is in place, the water is at the maximum level. Now, once I had the water filled up to the correct level, the next thing to do was to add the electrolyte. And I was using sodium hydroxide, and then I just mixed it in until it was dissolved. And something that's important to remember is that this electrolyzer is a dual setup. So right now it's being set up in the independent configuration where oxygen and hydrogen should be extracted on their own separately, but it can also be rotated. And with the nozzles adjusted, there can be a combined collection where the oxygen and, and hydrogen gases are mixed together and collected as one. So we're at nine volts. I don't know if you could see that. And it's starting to bubble. All right, you can see a lot of bubbles forming on the plates and coming off. And they're coming up to the surface. Now, I don't think they're getting directed into the slots. Okay, pause right here. It was around this time where I realized that the design had a major flaw. And that was that for this sort of setup to work, the system essentially needs to be pressurized because gas is going to take the path of least resistance. And the setup as it is now is not conducive for gas to migrate into the little slot cut into those coupling nuts. Of course, the gas will bubble to the top and then go out through any hole in the seal or leak in the system, especially where that lid interfaces with the main electrolyzer. So I realized there's a lot of work to be done on the design super well weird cloud coming off the wood that's insane all right so before i add more electrolyte to the solution i'm going to switch this over to the combined gas setup and we're going to see if that seems to work better the combined gas setup and as you can see right here is plugged up with the bolt same on this side that way no gas comes out of these ports but instead it only comes out the centralized one which is plugged in the other setup and there's the little input right there just a small little hole and the plates all get turned in and don't quite touch but are very close to touching no more divider All right, so although we're pulling 10 amps, which is really good, the bubbles that are coming up are not flowing through this tube into the bubbler cup. Instead, they're just leaking out the side, so I still need to add another sort of collection device or something under here to direct the bubbles into the opening. Ah. I realized that I need to make sure I eliminate as many places as possible for where the gas can go. So for these trials, I got large plastic containers in order to cover over the electrodes. That way the gas has no choice but to bubble up and go towards the input by the nozzle. Forming 
gas. No, it looks like it's filling with gas. Up in the cap? Yeah. Like more than it was. It's filling, but I think it's just leaking out right here. I don't think it's, because obviously it's not going into the bubbler at all. So even with the trial two tests, no gas was collected from the bubbler cups. I still agree with my assumption at the end of that last clip that the gas is leaking out by the caps of the containers. I think that the interface between the nozzle, lid, and bottle cap with all the washers is too complicated, allowing gas to escape. In a future video, I will try to solve the sealing issue by, I think, just removing the lid entirely to start and having the gas collected directly from the plastic container itself. So this could either be through a balloon stretched over the neck of the container or maybe even fixing a tube so that it's permanently attached with a good seal right at the cap. And honestly, if these ideas don't work, then there's something really wrong with this design and I'm gonna need some help. So if you have any great ideas, please drop them in the comments below and look forward to the upcoming videos.